Hello, my name is Sarah Chapman. I'm one of the co-curators of the Beryl Cook exhibition held at the Peninsula Arts Gallery, University of Plymouth. The exhibition opens on Saturday the 8th of November and runs to Saturday the 20th of December. We're going to have a look at some of her very well-known images and walk around the exhibition and I'll talk about some of her works. Beryl was a self-taught artist. She didn't train at art college. She picked up a paint palette uh, in the early 1960s as one of her son's uh, paint boxes. And she, her very first painting, which we're going to look at now, is Hangover. If we look at this, if we look at this image, we can see Beryl's uh, very familiar sense of humour at work, even in this very first painting. So the, the name hangover doesn't refer to the alcoholic type of hangover. We're talking about the, the female breast hungover, hanging over. Um, so a quite delightful, quirky image. One, if, if you look at her eyes, those sideways glance, if, when we look at some of her later work, um, this, these, the, this, the sideways glance um, carries on right through her, her, her painting. So perhaps, um, although she did this entirely for enjoyment, um, we do see, we do see her, some, some trademarks um, that she carries on into her later work. If we, if we drop down and look at the painting below Hangover, again this is a very early painting in the 60s. It's called Ladies in Amsterdam. Again, if we look at some, some aspects of it, we can, we can see the sort of the, the funny ladies, winking eyes, the kind of subject matter, uh, sort of larger ladies with this, the, the, obviously the sexual connotations. However, the style is, is not that well-rounded painting style that we, we are so, so familiar with. Also, some of her early work, I think, is slightly darker. So if you look at the lady here on the end, sort of very black eyes, there is something almost, you know, slightly sinister, uh, perhaps, which I think, uh, in, again, in her later work, we lose that kind of, um, of style and it becomes much more uh, about fun-loving, sort of the jolly, jolly sort of scenes that... Um, that again we're, we're, that we're very familiar with with Beryl Cook's work. So Beryl started painting in the 1960s but very quickly as her work develops her work moves into the more familiar style. If we look at this painting which was painted in, in the late 1970s it's called My Fur Coat and, and perhaps it's one of the very classic paintings of Beryl. I particularly like it as it seems to, it shows that very stereotypical sort of British, the British class system. Um, the lady with the uh, fur coat, and I do believe it's wolf fur. I mean, that in itself is quite interesting as, as Beryl was very un-PC. And so a lot of her paintings uh, will have, will show life as it is, smoking, drinking, the excesses um, of, our, of our lives. And in this painting, uh, this lady has a fabulous uh, fur coat, as un-PC as you can get. Obviously, we assume she's a lady of the night um, with her shiny red high heel shoes. We also assume, and I say assume because it's all in, innuendo really, that she's exposing herself to that very British gentleman with the bowler hat and umbrella and his, his uh, broadsheet paper under the arms. If we look at this painting, The Dolphin Hotel, it's actually called Hen Party. The Dolphin Hotel being um, a very uh, well-known uh, bar, pub, down on the Barbican, which she used to frequent um, quite often, drink, drinking in the Dolphin Hotel. Um, I should say that Beryl was um, a very quiet character, and not a lot of people are, are, are aware of this. They, they assume, they see these, these 
big, larger-than-life characters in her paintings when actually she was quite, um, quite quiet and, and a reticent character, but she was an observer, an observer of everyday life. And so when we look at these paintings, they are so familiar to us. Uh, we've seen scenes like this out on the town, um, uh, in, in, in clubbing, the nightlife, people having a good time, good fun. So this one here is a hen party. Um, these girls are having a good time. Uh, another, another aspect of Beryl's work was her capacity to record fashions and trends of the time. So when you look at her paintings, you can almost date them for, um, for the, dress, the dress styles and, and, and the shoes. So I would have a hazard. I'd guess this was the 80s with those crop trousers and, um, and, and the little short, short shorts. Um, certainly Beryl loved shoes uh, and we do have a pair of shoes that she had in her studio um, here in the exhibition um, so very interesting if we also move on to another Plymouth icon and that's Elvira's Cafe um, just off Durnford Street near the Kremel Ferry Again, uh, Beryl's fa family um, used to run a vi a vi a vi Elvira's Cafe in the 80s. Um, a fantastic location if you want your full English breakfast and your good strong cup of tea. Uh, here in the image, uh, again, people are enjoying themselves. We can see the full, en full English breakfast in the window. Um, People going in, coming out, always having a good time. She was always interested in recording the positive side of life. And we also have two delightful objects, um, a cinema chair and, and a homemade um, crafted chair um, in, within the exhibition. If we look first at the uh, cinema, uh, the two cinema seats, uh, which is a fantastic object, I think. Uh, the story is that when the Plymouth Arts Centre was refurbished um, and the film, uh, the, the cinema was refurbished, uh, when they took the seats out, Beryl um, managed to get hold of these two chairs and in, in, a, in a true Beryl style, she's made an interpretation of this wonderful lady. So you've got the two eyes on the back, back of the seats, you've got a full lovely red lipstick teeth and I just think it's an example of her rich imagination um, perhaps we can think of um, all those what the seats have seen while they, whilst, whilst they've been in the cinema all those lovely Hollywood ladies starlets on the big screen or maybe um, maybe some of the activities on the back seat row of the cinema so I, I just think it's just a wonderful interpretation uh, and, an, and an insight into how, how Beryl, or, uh, that humour, uh, was always there in her work. Okay, so this other chair that we also have in the exhibition is, is, a, is a great find and, and also has never been exhibited before. She knitted, she crafted uh, embroidery, and, and clearly on this one, we've got the pinball machine. So just a wonderful object in, in itself. Another aspect of Beryl's work is that she illustrated for a number of books. The work produced for these books are very, are very exclusive. You, unless, you've, unless you've seen these books, you wouldn't have seen the work anywhere else. And, and the books in themselves, what we're looking at at the moment is the Folio Society. And this particular book is The Prime of Miss Jean Brodie. They are beautiful objects in themselves, if you look at the binding, and are now quite collectible. And you would never have seen them anywhere else. Um, and Beryl only illustrated for, for, for books and authors um, that she was, she was interested in and inspired by. Um, so she, she never felt she, she didn't want to she never felt as if she was pressured uh, to, to, to make these illustrations. 